Hello Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. For the support of Oracle Cards, I'm using the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. First half will be uh, relationship, second half will be for singles, and the Oracle Cards come out as necessary. Alright, so I feel like it seems like we're starting, this is what we're starting with. Your partner has the Ace of Cups, nope, the Knight of Cups, <laughs> uh, and you have the Judgment card, Major Arcana. Now I'm seeing, even though you have the Major Arcana, that's usually the stronger card, but I'm getting whatever's happening for your partner, you're very happy about this. And this seems to be going in a direction you're going anyway, correct? Yeah. All right, so it's going in a direction that you want to go. And you're feeling this is perfect. Perfect timing, everything's working out great. Now, I'm getting that your your partner seems excited about the offer the fact that the offer was made. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because I feel like it's not so much about what's offered, just that this per that your partner's been considered for it or offered it to, to begin with. The fact that your partner's even offered this possibility, very good, um, speaks highly of uh, him or her. Correct? Yes. Um, what else? Is there anything else with this? No. There's a reason I'm saying this. <laughs> because I feel like you're excited about this next possibility. You're like, yes, go forward. Let's do it. Your partner's very excited as well, but the fact that they're, like, just getting the offer, that's denoting a certain level, like, that has been achieved here. Now, this this is definitely... Whatever's been offered, it has possibilities with it. And your partner, once they realize the possibilities here, that's rough. Because that means giving up the old to go into the new. There's still things here that are the same, but you have to let go of one thing to get something else. It's like, you can't hold on to both ropes. Like, if you're swinging across, like a chasm, you can't just keep holding on to the first rope. You have to let go of the first rope and you grab the second rope so you can keep swinging. Uh, but the first rope might be more secure to you. <laughs> or to your partner, I should say. So, this this change, because I feel like there's more, like, I don't feel like it's just, like, one thing. I feel like for most of you, your partner has a few possibilities, because between you, you have the Seven of Cups, all the wonderful things that could be happening due to this offer. But your partner seems a little bit choked up, like, do, do I want to go into this realm? I'm also noticing another major arcana card on your side, the world, which denotes a new phase in life. And based on what I'm seeing around you, I, I, I see, that, like, as it goes forward, like, you have your own reservations, but not at this point. But I do feel like the, it's a new phase. It's a good phase. Um, but it's definitely you're going into a new phase of life. And I'm also getting, like, there's the yes card with these possibilities. So, technically, your partner could... Just decide not to take any of these possibilities, technically, I suppose. But I'm getting that they are. They're taking, they have, to, it's more like you get this level, and if you say, if you rebuke it, like that was your one shot at this level. So I don't feel like they're going to backtrack on this. But I also feel like they're having a hard time choosing between which one. So they're having a hard time letting go, but more, moreover, they're having a hard time choosing which way to go here at this point because it's a fork in the road in the sense of like once you start down a path it's almost like a slippery muddy path like once you start start sliding down it you're on it till the end <laughs> like you you can't really like turn around and come back and choose a different path 
Whichever one you choose, there you go. Good? Good. All right, so this seems to be like what what's setting things in motion. I feel like this is the base of the whole situation, all of this coming together. You're excited for your partner. You're excited for these new opportunities. Or sorry, excited maybe, if I can speak it right. Um, what else is happening here? Your partner wants to slow down. Now this is interesting because you have the knight of, oh, not the knight, king of swords on your partner's side. Your, par your partner seems to have the ability here, and this could be male or female, just especially with a general read. Your partner is giving a note here in the sense of like, they have some control about how fast things change. And I feel like um, they're taking control of the whole thing. They're melding it to a way that it feels more comfortable for them. And I feel like they're, they're divvying out how this is going to work. But I feel like this is the point where you're starting to realize how this is going to affect your life. Because I feel like you were very caught up in the excitement of it. But you're starting to see also, whatever this changes, you're also going to experience that same, you know, things from the past are going to change. The new things are coming in the future, so it's out with the old, in with the new type, type feel. I'm getting there's definitely a change here. Um, some type, whatever's going on with your partner, like it, it's it's going to change some things. Now it's either I'm getting there's two major ways this is coming in. One, it's a move like a flat out move, which I feel like that's self explanatory. Well, that would change your life. I'm getting a list now. Okay, that's good. Or actually, it's an and or um, could be both of these, but the other one I'm getting is like your partner you're, is going to be either traveling more or working more and you know you're not going to have the interaction you're used to having with your partner. Like this is going to change things dramatically. There's definitely some some sense of travel here for your partner at the very least. Either you're moving completely or this new level is going to get them, they're going to be traveling more. I'm getting there's travel in some sense though. But the the five of cups on your side you're realizing this is gonna either because you're moving you have to go through things changing you might have to go through a job change because of that friend change whatever's going on and or it's because i'm saying and or because it could be both your partner is going to be very busy very busy and it's just it's going to change the dynamic between you and your partner right yeah okay all right, I'm getting, see, I'm getting a couple travel cards on your partner side, I'm noticing right off the bat. You have one too, but I feel like yours is delayed. Your partner, off and running, going forward. This is the spiritual sense. Like, your, your partner is ready to move forward, is going to take this and go forward. You have the strength card, another major arcana for you. Do you have all the major arcana before I go too far? You do. There's only three in this reading, and you have all three of them. So you have the third <laughs> major arcana here, which is actually number eight, strength, third in this reading. So it's weird because you are happy about this, but the changes that you're now realizing are going to happen. It's, it's gonna you're gonna have it's gonna have to make you stronger in some sense, either. One of the, either one of those scenarios, and I, I guess I don't need to beat that horse. I'm pretty sure it's dead. So that's where your strength is going to come in. I mean, I feel like that's self-explanatory. Like, you're going to have to be strong in the sense of, like, holding up the extra weight or going through the changes. But I feel like it's not... I don't feel like... I don't, I'm not feeling, like, any rough energy with this. I'm just feeling like it's just a... A building of it's almost like a building of strength like if you're doing um, push-ups you know you're you're adding more push-ups so you can build more muscle and you just you might have to keep building or keep adding more and more in increments that type of thing just building your strength I don't really feel anything else coming with that so I'm gonna let that go now see I am getting a delay with you Two of Wands, you have to, like, you're tied, no matter what way this is going, 
you're you're kind of tied between two things. For the moving people especially, it just doesn't seem like you can move all that quick. You have to tie up loose ends and do what you can to get everything together. It's, it just feels like, <coughs> excuse me, your partner has to go forward right away and you you just can't do it. Like, I feel like you're delayed a little bit. Because um, on the other side is um, the Three of Wands for your partner, like literally taking flight. They're, now, if it's moving and they're going to take over some other spot or do a job in some other area, they have to fly there and they have to take care of it and get they have to like it's not cemented in yet but they're already they they already have to go there's more travel there's more travel i'm getting on their side a lot of travel i'm just constantly getting travel on their side um now when they're traveling this is where it gets a little bit dicey in my opinion because no matter what way it's going for you you're you're kind of with you're kind of stuck holding the bag that's kind of what I'm getting. You're kind of tied there, and you just kind of have to do things. This is where that strength comes in again. I feel like these are together at this point. But And it's not like your partner's purposely doing this. You understand why. It's not about, like, it's not like anything was done to you purposely. You, you realize what's going on here. You're quite aware about the schematic. The schematics? Okay. The details and why this is happening that way. But definitely, I feel like you are holding up the fort here. And if you're moving, you're getting, you're doing the packing, I have a feeling, and stuff like that, and getting all the details taken care of. If it's, like, if, if they're traveling more, there's definite responsibilities they had in this relationship that they can't do. Like, I feel like there's a good amount they can't do like they used to, so you have to pick up the slack on those things. And you're doing that. But either way, there's, a, there's an extra burden here. I know it's just the two of wands, which is being tied, but I feel like, especially because you have Ask Your Angels for help, because I feel like there's an extra burden here, and you might have to find a different way to um, navigate it. I'm also getting with this, because I'm, when I'm holding this card, especially, these extra things you have to take on, whether it's a temporary thing or a permanent thing, whichever it might be for you, they're telling me to simplify and rewrite it the way the way it works for you. Remember that your partner isn't doing this and can't do this anymore, so you don't have to do it the way they did it. Rewrite it the way you would do it, the way you would like to do it, and then do it that way. If you want to minimize something, minimize it. Just take over and make your own decisions. Make those executive decisions yourself. Um, because I'm, I'm getting like, this situation is completely under your control, no matter which way it's working out, permanent or temporary, your partner isn't going to be able to complain or even realize the changes you made. It's all about what works for you. Like, wait, like, maybe, like I don't see, I don't feel they're ever going to be able to like look back at what you did. They're too busy to even look right now to do what you did. So it's whatever way you want to do it. The complete trust from your partner seems to be there. Minimize and rewrite it the way you want to do it, and do it that way. Good. Now, is there anything I missed here? Because I do see the Eight of Wands. Uh, all right. So the Eight of Wands is, is either you catching up and moving in after, like your second, getting to this place second, after the details are taken care of, you're doing all that stuff. Or it's like you're catching up, like whatever whatever burdens or responsibilities you're left with, I feel like you're catching up and you're rewriting it and minimizing however necessary and you're you're keeping pace now with this new situation. Like I feel like you you get up to par really quick. Like I don't feel like it takes you once you make that decision and you're on that playing field where you're like, you know what, this is my game now. I'm gonna minimize what I think is too much. I'm gonna rewrite some of these situations the way I wanna do them and do them that way. And I feel like you have control and this is like this is like your ball game now. Like you know what I mean? This part is your ball game. You have it, it's on lock, it's good. Not an issue now. And um, your partner, more than happy, more than happy. Now, <laughs> they have the three of, of um, cups here, which means they're happy with you, but they're happy with things going on around them as well. I'm getting like there's more going on than just what's going on with you and your partner. There's things going on in their life that are really playing in here. The listen to your intuition is saying the things you've minimized and change, changed 
I, I don't feel like you really need to bring that forward. I don't know how that sounds, but I don't feel like it's a big deal. Um, but I feel like if you push something forward, it might, it might jar your partner a little bit. You know what I mean? It's not going to change anything. And I, but I feel like everything's okay. Listen to your intuition is kind of telling me if if you feel like you know what you don't need to say that. If your partner asks, by all means, tell them. That's that's not what I'm saying. But like, if you're just kind of like thinking maybe I should tell them this, maybe I should tell them that. Like, think about it for a minute. Do you really think that's a good idea, or do you think just because you're doing it differently, maybe you should just let them know? Because if you're just thinking you should just let them know because you're doing it differently, maybe it's best to just not say that because it could it could raise like a, a situation where they. Maybe they don't understand what you're doing and they might get a little confused about what you're actually saying. You know, it, it just could, like, maybe you get rid of some things that they liked, but you know what? They're not going to know the difference because they never paid attention to it anyway. But still, like, I'm just saying, maybe there's some things here you want to double think. Like, and if they ask, yes, by all means, push that forward, of course. But if they're not asking, maybe just have a good time and just hang out. Like, why make it an issue? You know what I mean? Because I feel like at this point... If, <laughs> at this point, it's like it's a done deal. It's a done deal at this point. You had to make these decisions. It's like you were left to make these decisions. You did your best you could. And I feel like you did really well. So I feel like it, when, when, when over is over, why, why make it an issue? I don't know. If that sounds bad, I'm sorry, but that's what I'm getting. Okay, good? Good. Now let's do... Sagittarius singles. Single Sagittarians. Right. Need information from Sagittarians that are single, empowering information to help them see what's going on, help them move forward and make choices that move them towards the way they want to go in life, and then the love and joy they're seeking. Any empowering information you have for Sagittarians that are single. Single Sagittarian. Yes. Stop. Good. No, nope, they're saying leave those alone. I don't know if we're gonna. He. Yeah, we got a pack. Okay. We got a bunch of cards here. And one. Oh, okay. There's a bunch right there and a bunch right there. That's nice. And a bunch right there. Okay. I'm gonna actually. I don't know what. I think I have four, three or four spots. Maybe five. With like a little small stack of cards, which I was not planning for. So I can see the top card on these, but nothing below them. Stop. Good. All right. So the environment is the first thing. The first thing that's really strong, and the top card is telling me this. This is a person balancing things out. This person's trying to get down to the brass tacks of it. How do you really match up? You know, nobody's perfect. And I feel like they're looking at this like, nobody's perfect. I have my faults, you have your faults. I feel like they want to know each other's faults. They want to know your faults. They want to know how you deal with their faults. Um, they want to know the assets you have. They want you to know the assets they have for you. Like, you know what I mean? They want to, they're very much about the nitty gritty. Like, what's the brass tacks of this? Is this going to work out? It feels very like... There's a little bit of a fun twinge to it, but they're, even though they may be a little bit playful and joy, joyful, um, there's definite, like, what, what we need to see how this adds up. That's what I'm getting from this first card here. The, um, the High Priestess can be a very... To me, it can be a very business-like card, depending on what's happening around the rest of the cards here. And in this one, it's almost like, even though it's a relationship-type thing, singles, but still... It's love related. I feel like they're like they're looking at this very analytically. Like, all right, does this add up? What's the good? What's the bad? You know what I mean? Can we complement each other and help each other out with our strengths, or our weakness is going to tear us down? That's very. And there's cards behind it, but I'm not feeling we should pull those yet. Now, you got two cards here. At the bottom here. I feel like the second card is going to come in later, is what they're telling me. So the top one here is the Queen of Cups. There's somebody you feel for. This person you're actually having feelings for. The Queen of Cups, that's somebody who knows how they feel. And they have that feeling of love. And they want to get they want to get in this relationship. 
I'm getting like you're watching. Um, I feel like you're very proud to be with this person, to be dating them. And you're waiting for the right moment to like say, hey, you want to go forward? You want to make this more? You're biding your time, but you're paying attention. You're just waiting for that moment to like share how you really feel. Now, are you fearing this? No. So let's go to this next. The Queen of Wands, which usually, um, it makes me feel like I know a couple Sagittarian moms, three, three, I think. So this, that's why this card probably connects that way for me. This is something, this is an energy that takes care of people and doesn't, it's like something needs to be done and like they're doing it. I don't know how to explain it. Like something falls on the floor before it even, before it's done like clanking around, they're already over there picking it up. Um, somebody needs help with homework before they're done putting down their bag, they're over there helping. I'm getting that motherly feel that way. They're, but they just react, like once they realize there's something to do, they're just doing it. There's no... There's no what should we do, when should we do it. There's just, they're, they're moving right away. I'm getting that energy here. Like, I feel like you're going forward. You're just enjoying the moment. You're living in that moment. I feel like it's a really good thing. What's coming next is my question. Because I'm, I'm also getting that this person, this thing, this situation they're telling me came in pretty quick. With the Eight of Swords here, it's in the past position, but I'm getting this this whole possibility came in really quick. Like, it's almost like, I don't know if you knew this person for a while, and they, all of a sudden you're just like, wow, you're amazing. Either that, or they just showed up in your life, and they just kind of popped up out of the blue. One of the two. I'm doing one of the two, apparently, in this reading. It's a fun day for that. Um, I'm getting for... But I, I'm feeling stronger, honestly, with the, like... It's somebody you've known, but just all of a sudden you're just looking at him and you're just like, this person is clearly awesome. How have I never realized? Um, <laughs> and I just feel like a lot of you are connecting that way. Some of you, this person's popping in out of the blue, but I feel the majority of you are just kind of like, wow, you're pretty cool. <laughs> and I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Now, are we done with this? No. Okay, what else do we want to say with this? As soon as you realize that, you seem to be moving forward with this. Are you the initiator? I feel like you're the initiator here. That's what I'm getting. You're the initiator. Whatever way that happened, I feel like you initiated this going forward. And you're talking more. You're like, hey, let's go do this. You know, like that's the, this, this, um, this energy. Whether you're male or female, this is a just like the love is there. And instead of, there's no like second guessing it. It's just like the love is there. Opportunity. Okay. It's just like, there you go. Oh, opportunity? Yep, there you go. Not bad. It's a good thing. I feel like it's a good thing. Good? Good. Now, we got this pack of cards here. What you're going into. This seems good enough. Empress card. Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles. And the Page of Cups. This, I'm getting like this, this person's been thinking this anyway. But I feel like this is more intense in this part. The Empress with the Six of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. Now I'm really feeling like this comes through a little bit too heavy for you. I feel like the High Priestess is coming in. And this is, I feel like, why I was getting that business feel before. Like, this is feeling more like a business transaction than a love transaction. Love transaction? That's a really bad way to say this. This is looking more like a business transaction than a love situation. There we go. Eek. Um, this person's, like, really getting down to the brass tacks of it. I'm getting that again. Now, I feel like that's why, like, you see the Empress there, how she's sitting on that, is it a rock? I think it's a rock, yep. And, you know what I mean, she's looking back, she's just kind of like, you have the feelings, but you're like, wait a minute. Like, this is feeling more like a business transaction. And the, the Six of Pentacles tells me, like, you're very conducive with giving the information. You have no problem giving that forward, but it does seem to be tainting the affair a little bit. Because when I see the Page of Cups here, I'm kind of getting it's more of like... Like, you were more gung-ho before this moment. Yeah, because you had the queen over here. The, the page is, like, two down from the, the queen. 
like you're kind of like wait a minute is this person seeing me more of as a status symbol or like like am I just a good bet to this person am I just like they feel like I would fit into their lifestyle and I could help them out like what is going on here I don't feel like you like the way this is coming across it's not it's not feeling like love it's feeling like business and you don't like that that's what I'm getting of course if this reading is hitting for you all right so that's this, this this is bringing in these new two new pieces. Okay, we got these. There's two here, and then there's this one over here. It's starting to make sense, along with this behind that. Okay, the way I read, I know is kind of my own way, but it's like the reading starts telling me more as we go forward. But I'm getting the uh, the Knight of Swords at the top here. This is the air in which you're working. You're wondering if this is just not what you thought it was. I feel like you're looking at the situation and you're just like, how could I have been so wrong? Because I don't think this person feels for me the way I feel for them. And I'm just thinking this is like, this is feeling too much like business. And I just feel like you're, your heart's in it, but you're worried that theirs is not. But they're acting favorably towards you for what you would consider the wrong reason. As in, not because they feel love feelings for you, but because they seem to think that... Uh, Financially, socially, whatever it is, you're a good bet. You're just like, I'm not looking to be somebody's bet. The bottom card here, this is what's grounding the situation. This is where it's kind of, this is a very strong, this is kind of, to in me, to me, usually this is a very strong card for the situation. The top, this air just kind of, kind of, come, it's like air above, above uh, a plant. It, it comes in and out. It can be warm. It can be cold. It can be moist, it can be dry, but it can change pretty pretty easily based on what's going on around. This is the base. This is kind of like the soil you're rooted in here. And I feel like what's going on now is that the way this is coming off, and you don't like where this is, this is a bad foot to start on in your opinion because of the way the other person's very down to the brass tacks of it. And you're like, maybe, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I should just, you know, kind of move on from this and just let it go back to what it was or just let it move on because I, I'm looking for love. I'm not looking for like, you know, to be somebody's support. You know, I'm looking to be, to be somebody's love because I'm in love here. I could fall in love here. I don't want somebody who's not in love with me but just thinks I'm a good bet. I keep getting the good bet theory here going on theory. Good bet analogy. Um, where is this going? See, this is going again because... The Queen of Cups, which I'm just calling the Queen of Hearts. The card behind her is the uh, Five of Swords. Swords. Five of Swords. So I feel like there's a defense. You're kind of getting a little defensive, I'm thinking, which is not bad. And this isn't your thoughts, the Three of Swords. You're afraid, like, you know, this is just bound to be heartbreak at some point. Because if I go in with love and they go in with other things in mind, how long can this really last? Like... I'm not going to stay in a relationship where I'm not loved. I need to be loved, not just... not. I don't need to be just respected. I need to be loved and respected. But without love, there's nothing. So you're feeling like this... What what real chance does this have? Is, and I feel like it's breaking your heart because you're thinking this person is looking at you in a way you really are not liking. They're not being mean or saying cruel things, but the brass tacks... You know, the way they're going about it, it's just, you're not feeling love. You're feeling like they're looking at you in a different way, and you don't like that. Now, I'm noticing this go forward. I'm going to cheat. Okay. You have the Seven of Wands, and then you have the Sharp Note here, which is like some, it's like the advice here from the universe, the angels, whatever you want to say. Is saying, don't walk on from this. And I'm getting this person kind of standing there, and you're at that moment where you're thinking you might just be done. Is that correct? Eh. What are we saying with this card? Let me just hold this by itself. You're feeling a little... Um, you're feeling vulnerable at this point. You're feeling vulnerable... I feel like this is in the future. This is a future development here, but you're starting to feel a little vulnerable because I feel like after this meeting, I don't know, because 
I don't know if I want to call it a date because it feels more like a meeting the way it went off. It was supposed to be a date, but I feel like it came off like a meeting. After that, you're kind of like... I feel like the other person is kind of still interested. And you're at this spot where you're feeling kind of vulnerable because you gave out a lot of information and they seem to know you like them. And you're not sure what to do about it. I almost feel like you're kind of refraining a little bit. You're kind of holding back. You're kind of standing your ground. But you're not really moving on yet. But you're like, I don't know if I really want to go to another meeting just yet. Thank you. I'm kind of getting that feel. I'm getting going. They're, they're putting it forward this way. They're like, go on another date. Go on a couple more dates before you make your decision. That's what they're advising. This person, it, I feel like it might be a defense mechanism. They're coming across very cold. Now, keep that in mind. This can come through a few different ways, especially with a journal read, but the other person may come across very cold on the first date. To you, it doesn't feel like a date. It feels like a meeting. It may take a bit to warm them up. I get the advice here is like don't walk on from this. Give it a little, give it a little more time. Go on a few more dates. Give this person a chance to warm up a bit, and see where it goes. Because you seem to be at that pot spot where you're just like, eh, I don't know. Where are we going with the end here? The top one, Knight of Pentacles. The bottom one, Four of Pentacles. I kind of get that feeling like you're trudging forward. You're still kind of involved in this. But I feel like it's just like coffee once in a while and it's I getting I, I have to say it's kind of I feel like you're slowly stepping out of it. I feel like you're slowly stepping out of it. If this reading is hitting for you and this person came off this way, the advice is go on a couple more actual dates. This person needs some time to wait to warm up. They need time to warm up. You, if you keep going the way this is, seems like it's going, I feel like you're going to walk on because you're going to keep diminishing it and diminishing it. And I feel like you're you're backing off. You're feeling you're feeling like this isn't what you're looking for. So you're, you're I don't feel like you're as um, conducive with it for good reason. But the advice here is like to go on some a couple more fun dates. Because this person needs a chance to warm up some more, and you might find more of a benefit to this person. You're going to find that the, there are feelings with this person. There are love feelings there, but I'm getting this person just comes off kind of cold or static, or not static, dry maybe. I don't know. They don't come off that fun in the beginning, that's for sure. Because I'm getting with that. They, they like what they see. They want to keep going with you. They're very happy. They like talking to you. I feel like the way this first date went, which you might refer to it as a meeting because I really feel like the way it came across, it was a little like, eh. Um, the fact that you were so giving, this person seems to really like that. There's feelings here. There's possibilities of love here. This person needs a while to warm up. They definitely need a, need a moment to, to warm up. And they want love too. It's just it takes them a minute to really warm up to somebody. So you might already be there where you're already feeling it. I don't feel like they're there with that yet. That's true. But they need just need a chance to get to know you. I don't feel them going forward with something if they're not in love. I feel like you're, you're more on the same tone in that. It's just the way they're coming off. It's just it's not translating well. But I'm, I'm getting they need time to, to warm up. Because I'm getting next to them like, wait, there's... The advice, and I feel like this is advice for you about the environment you're working with here. Give it some time. Wait it out because you may be surprised what you actually find here. Good? Good. All right. I'm going to wrap that part up here. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.